So with all the cutting edge new military technology that's been coming out recently, we're seeing a lot of things that are very reminiscent of things you would think to see in like Star Wars or something like the Death Star's beam. I want to talk to you guys about the Songbow weapon system, which is the Navy's scalable optical naval gun battery with optimized wave front, which is a secretive US Navy weapon system program that was focused on developing a high powered directed energy weapon system. Now this thing was launched in mid 2025 and aims to deliver around a 400 kilowatt class laser capable of engaging aerial threats at the speed of light. And what this would do is it would provide a cost-effective alternative to traditional platforms like missile-based defenses and things like that. Now, the system was designed for integration into naval platforms with potential land-based applications as well and represents a significant escalation in laser power compared to prior systems like the 60-kilowatt Helios or the 30-kilowatt Laws. Now, the Songbow is part of the Navy's broader laser family of systems, or NFLAWS, which in includes complementary systems like Odin, or a Dazzler for sensor impairment, and Hellcap for anti-ship cruise missile defense. So let me put this in perspective for you. So during the Red Sea operations that were taking place with the US Navy over the past year, they launched over 100 standard missiles, each costing roughly around $4 million a piece, which totaled up to $1 billion by April of 2024. Now, a lot of people out there consider high cost a critical vulnerability for the US Navy, and the Songbow will address those critical vulnerabilities by providing a near instant instantaneous response for sustained engagements against saturation attacks like drone swarms, for example, with each shot costing an estimated $1 to $10, which is far cheaper by millions of dollars than their kinetic counterparts. And the only thing it would be limited by would be shipboard power and fuel. Now, some specialists in the field have referred to Songbow as a, quote, magazine depth unlimited solution. Now, the Navy spent decades trying to pursue, like, development of operational lasers dating back to the 80s when they were performing experiments up into some of the modern prototypes that we're seeing today. And Songbow was formally initiated on June 10th of 2025 via a $29.9 million cost plus fixed fee contract, which was awarded by the Office of Naval Research to Coherent Aerospace and Defense. Now, this deal includes a 20-month base period with options extending to January of 2027 and initial funding of $12.88 million from fiscal year 2024 research and development. Now, the Navy envisioned a low-rate production of these things by the late 2020s with Songbow enhancing layered defenses in high-threat theaters like the Indo-Pacific or the Middle East.